In this research update, I want to talk about the study that shows that fructose can actually be damaging to genes in brain cells. Now, the study I'm referring to was done by UCLA researchers. They taught rats how to escape a maze. Then they kept the rats away from the maze for six weeks while they fed them a standard rat lab diet. Now, one group drank pure water with the standard diet. A second group drank fructose in their water. It was equivalent to an adult drinking about a liter of soda pop sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. And then there was a third group that got the same amount of fructose in their water, but their diet was fortified with DHA, the omega-3 fatty acid, docosahexaenoic acid. After six weeks of following the diet, the rats were allowed to run the maze again. The rats getting the high fructose diet took twice as long to run the maze as the rats getting the pure water. Now, the rats that had the DHA added to their diet ran the maze just about as fast as the rats getting the pure water, despite having all that fructose. So the scientists concluded that the fructose impaired the rat's memory, whereas the DHA, that omega-3 fatty acid, prevented that impairment that the fructose caused. Now, when they looked at blood levels of things like blood glucose, insulin, triglyceride levels, they also noticed a big difference. The rats consuming the high fructose well, as you expected, they had higher blood glucose levels, they had higher insulin levels, and they had higher triglyceride levels than the rats drinking just pure water. But the rats getting the fructose with the added DHA to their diet had no changes in these blood markers. And having elevated triglycerides, blood glucose, and insulin levels can lead to things like diabetes, obesity, heart disease. It's clearly not good. Now, they also checked the rats for changes in the genes in their brain cells. And they found that the rats consuming the high fructose diet had negative changes in genes in their brain cells of over 900 different genes. That's right, 900 genes were altered. And these are genes that are comparable to humans. They're genes that are involved in metabolism, inflammation, and just normal cell communication. And I know a thing or two about gene research, as that was my main focus when I was at Yale School of Medicine, where we use both rat model and human model. So yes, these genes are very comparable to humans. And now the negative changes that they found in the genes can be associated with things like depression, bipolar disorder, Parkinson's disease, and many other brain disorders. Yet what they found was that the rats consuming the DHA in their diet had none of these negative alterations in their genes. Now that's not surprising if you know anything about omega-3 fatty acids, and that's why the scientists actually gave the rats the DHA in their diet. DHA is well known to have a positive influence on many genes, and here it's showing that it can basically prevent the damage that fructose can cause. Now am I saying that you should avoid all fructose in your diet? No, look, okay, a few servings of fruit in your diet is not problematic, but again, Fruit is 50% fructose. And remember, no matter what the source is, fructose is the problem. Fructose is a completely different structure than glucose. And glucose is what our body recognizes as the sugar that it uses for fuel. This diagram clearly shows that fructose is a five-ring structure, whereas glucose is a six-ring structure. The body has to restructure fructose into glucose before it can use it. But fructose that doesn't get restructured gets into cells, gunks up the cells, and causes damage. Here it's showing that damage goes all the way down to the level of the genes. So you definitely want to try to avoid things like high fructose corn syrup and even things like table sugar. Remember, sucrose, table sugar, is 50% glucose, 50% fructose. And that's why I specifically make post-gym dextrose. Removes the fructose. Fructose, remember, can't be utilized by the body, so it's not going to be a good recovery sugar post-workout. That's why I recommend pure dextrose. Plus, you don't have to worry about the damage that the fructose can cause. But you're not going to be able to remove all fructose from your diet, so don't kill yourself over how much fructose you consume. Yeah, limit your fructose intake. But the other thing you can do, like the research shows, is take enough DHA. And remember, I formulated Omega Gym to be the only fish oil that provides 1,500 milligrams of DHA per day 
along with 1500 milligrams of EPA. And it's the only fish oil that also provides DPA. The third omega-3, if you're not familiar with DPA, make sure you watch my other videos on DPA and read my other articles at Gym Supplement Science or my YouTube channel. And as always, guys, stay gym army strong.